my name's Hannah and I'm a registered dental hygienist at Forest Family Dentistry. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys today about the dreaded topic of flossing. So right now I am taking out my floss and I'm going to wrap it around my middle fingers, not my index fingers, but my middle fingers. And that will allow me to have more mechanical control with my thumbs and index fingers. So when we're flossing, we really want to make a nice C shape with that floss, as you can see there. Um, and that's really gonna help get all that plaque out from between our teeth, underneath our gums. It's okay if it goes underneath the gums a little bit. That's where most of that plaque is anyways. And you wanna shimmy it under. You don't wanna push it under really hard or aggressively because then you can damage your gums. Um, but just kind of rock it back and forth gently until it passes that contact. Now what we really want you to be doing at home is flossing at least once a day, whether that be in the morning or at night or whatever works best for you, but at least once a day is what we highly recommend. Now a lot of people are coming up to us and saying, you know, there's a study that's come out and says that flossing really isn't that beneficial, but from a hygiene standpoint, just think about what plaque is. It's bacteria, so it's going to cause inflammation of your gums. It can cause cavities. That is what causes cavities to begin with, so it's really, really important to be flossing your teeth every day. And I mean really, if you go on a date and you get steak stuck between your teeth, you really want to get it out. So let's not leave your leftovers in your teeth. I think that's probably the best option for all of us. <laughs> all right, well that's the end of this lesson. It was nice to meet y'all and hope to see you again soon. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Flossing is alive. <laughs>